We're out here shooting bow today. Uh, it's late after, Late season ended about two or three weeks ago and we're just shooting our bows and we thought we'd do a little broad test here for you just, just for fun. We're testing penetration, speed, and durability. And uh, the broadheads we're testing today are a muzzy 75 grain, uh, underhead 100 grain, and a uh, Grim Reaper 100 grain. And we'll see how they do against that wood, about a quarter inch thick piece of wood. So we'll see and we'll get back to you with the test. Here's Core Riggs. I'm shooting a Razor's Edge by Diamond Archery. It's like a break off from Bow Tech. See the penetration. Of his muzzy. I was zooming on the muzzy. Right there's the kid shooting. Let's see if this double Ready? cam bow. Double cam. Here, All right. Up. There we go. Wasn't the best shot in the world, but I want to make room for you guys. See where okay. we hit there. Chop to the left. All right. Go ahead and pause it. Next up, Kenton. The Grim Reaper. What kind of bow you got there, Kenton? PSC Stinger. I know it's a solo cam. You're a big fan. Yeah. Here he goes. Oh, baby. Better shot than the double cam. Hey, I was just making room for you guys. I'll see if I can take one. Next up is Corey. What kind of bow you got, Corey? I got a mission by Matthews, Maniac. All right. Now I'm shooting a Thunderhead 100 grain. There's that beast. Good. We'll bring back the results and show you guys how they did. All right, for penetration results, the Grim Reaper did the best. Muzzy was second, and the Thunderhead was third. Okay, this is damage and durability. Damage-wise, I'd say the Thunderhead did the best, but... It for durability it scored very low. It lost two of its blades out of three. The Grim Reaper is up there in damage. It's pretty it's intact and it looks like it's shootable. The Muzzy is intact and doing pretty good on damage wise, but and is not not as sharp as it used to be, but it went just went through a quarter inch piece thick of wood, so uh, I noticed on the Grim Reaper you can see a ho clear hole through the piece of wood, so that's pretty good. And the Thunderhead, there's actually a blade sticking right there. And the other one, we don't know where it's at. That's our broadhead test. Just did it for fun. There's Corey. There's Kenton. And we'll have some hunting videos here in the summer of Groundhogs. And please subscribe.